Bonnie Sue, good evening, and thank you so much for joining us. I'm James McKissick, president of USDA South Carolina. And on behalf of the board of directors, I'm so thrilled to present you with the 2020 Community Service Award. The Community Service Award is given to a person or organization that has devoted a significant amount of time to promote an outstanding tennis program beneficial to the community and to USTA South Carolina. Bonnie Sue Duncan was the first CTA leader to commit to the USDA South Carolina COVID-19 Relief Fund and committed more funds than any other CTA in South Carolina. She has continued to stay focused on growing the game of tennis during this wild year and is so deserving of this award. And I've known Bonnie Sue for a long time and I just can't tell you how gratified I am that you've been selected as a 2020 Community Service Award recipient. So congratulations, Bonnie Sue. Thank you so very much. It's been, it's been a pleasure working with South Carolina all these years. Uh, I think I've had different hats, but um, as the coordinator for UPTA, Upper Food Mark Tennis Association here in Greenville for 25 years, mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's, it's been a while, mm -hmm. but I was a community coordinator up here when we tried that. And, uh, you know, I think that you have to love what you're doing. And that was one of the reasons that I stayed with the leagues as long as I did, because I loved watching people that had never done anything in the sports realm that could succeed going to state or winning the local league, watching watching a 2-5 go to state for the very first time is the most rewarding thing a local league coordinator can see. You know, it's just, it's just amazing. And I will be retiring this year and Jennifer Smith will be taking over and she's, she's phenomenal. She's going to do a great job with UPTA and she knows all this technical stuff that us old folks don't understand totally, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's been it's been a, a love of mine for years and years. Uh, playing professional golf years ago, and then taking up tennis at age forty-two. You know, there's a lot of similarities, and the you know the focus and the concentration, and I quickly realized that I was not going to be heading for the uh, WTA, <laughs> so I better do my best here as a local league coordinator. And I really, I really enjoyed my time as a state league coordinator for the super senior program. Uh, I just, I can't say watching super seniors from 55 up to 85, you know, one year we had a, a, a partner partnership at state championship that uh, their total age, the two of them, was 176. Goodness. And I'm going, oh, man, you know, they're still playing tennis. That was great. You know, things well, like the sport of a lifetime, right? Yeah. They, <laughs> things like that, you just you just don't forget. Mm. It's just, I feel very blessed to have made the friends I have in South Carolina. See, I've been here 27 years. Uh, and it's just, you know, it's, it's just been great. Mm -hmm. uh, we have phenomenal pros. I have a cat that wants to help mm -hmm. out here. Bam! Get down! <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> he should be on TV too. <laughs> well, that cat jumped in my lap last time I was there. So yeah, he right. Yeah, he remembers the voice. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's just, I, I think our league is exceptional, exceptional from the standpoint that the management from top to bottom everybody's treated the same, everybody's treated fairly. Um, they may not always like the rule they get, but it's according to the rule. And, and we have a very strong program. And I'm just, you know, I'm just excited to see how it has grown 
you know, over the years. So yes, ma'am. And you've been an instrumental part of growing the game of tennis in, in the upstate. And, and well, if you love, if you love something, you want to share it. That's and, right. Yeah. And you know, as I say, watching watching people that have never been in a sport that starts out and watches them advance, you know, it's just, it's just unbelievable. You know, it's, it's what I give to them, you know, as far as just having fun. Yes, ma'am. Well, you're a tireless volunteer, but what does this award mean to you? The world. <laughs> it is very special. Very, very special, especially as I'm drawing to, you know, handing over the reins to Jennifer. And, uh, you know, I'll be here to, if she needs me, as long as it's not computer related. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we, we had the, com uh, the community tennis or the CTA meetings this week. Right. Now, I missed two of them because I couldn't figure out how to get on. So, I had Cheryl put somebody from North Carolina on, and I finally got there. I had Zoom, but I didn't know. You know, I mean, I'm just not computer literate. You know, I Jennifer can do Jennifer can do what took me five hours. She can do in about thirty five minutes. <laughs> oh goodness! So, and the CTA, the CTA is growing juniors, growing. You know, we've done everything that USTA South Carolina has asked us to try. And if we don't, you know, if it's not successful, we're the first ones to uh, let you know why. But we've been very, very pleased with our, you know, our success rate. Okay. And we started first singles league. Right. Back in 05. Hmm. So that was, that was neat. Yes, ma'am. Well, tennis loves you, Bonnie Sue. USDA South Carolina loves you, and I love you. And I just, uh, I can't be more pleased to present this 2020 Community Service Award to you on behalf of USDA South Carolina. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate yes, it. It will have a special place. <laughs>